General Gorganis was speaking there straight after the ceremony at which he formally assumed the post of Commanding General Regional Command Southwest, the command which Task Force Helmand is part of. It was watched by dignitaries, including British, Americans and Afghans. The formal transfer of authority here in Camp Bastion overseen by the UK's ambassador, Sir William Patey. Now, this command was created as part of the US surge just under two years ago. That surge is drawing down this year. So I asked General Garganus, over the coming 12 months, what are his priorities and targets for Helmand Province? The first one's clear. We want to continue to protect the population. Uh, they're, they're really the true partnership that we have to, that, that we have to work with. Uh, the second thing is to continue to transition the security to the Afghan National Security Forces. And, uh, and if we can accomplish that, they're the ones that are the, the rightful providers of security and they're doing a very good job of it. Is the change at the top of Regional Command Southwest going to mean changes for British forces here? No, I don't think so. Not now. None that I'm aware of, anyhow. We do know that the American surge is drawing down. When will we begin to see the impact of that in Helmand? Uh, you, you'll start to see us. You'll start to see the numbers get smaller during the summer, and uh, and, and then we will we, we'll continue to draw down as to meet the numbers. But the drawdown is not the focus. As we draw down, it's the Afghans that are stepping up. That's uh, that's what enables that's what enables the timeline that we draw down on. So you won't be looking to British troops to go into areas as Americans leave. I, I, we have no plans. The, the, they're doing quite well where they are in, Helmand, in, in Task Force Helmand. And General Garganus comes into post at the start as we head into what is seen as the traditional fighting season. It will be a real test both for him and for the progress made by his predecessors. James Hurst, thank you.